It's just to handle handled the right way. It's to handle handled the right way, dude. It's just, you don't, you know, they could have took it serious, dude. A family grieving and frustrated after first responders found two bodies in a car submerged in the icy water of Northridge Lake Thursday. Family identify the pair as seven-year-old Tyrell Jefferson and her 25-year-old mother, Kalila Brister. One car submerged. And we will start a dive rescue again. The rescue quickly turned into a recovery. Second victim out. Friday afternoon, the Milwaukee County Sheriff's Office released its timeline of calls made to 911 leading up to the deaths. It starts Wednesday afternoon at 434. The Sheriff's Office says the County's Office of Emergency Management 911 Dispatch Center received a transfer call from Milwaukee police regarding a possible suicidal person threatening to drive her vehicle into, quote, the lake with her daughter inside. Off camera, Tyrell's maternal grandmother confirmed with 12 News that's when she called police. Her daughter is threatening to drive into the lake. The sheriff's office says dispatch sent deputies to the Bradford Beach area along Lake Michigan, then canceled the call because it was believed Brister was heading to another jurisdiction. One deputy looked in the Bradford Beach area anyway and did not find anything. But according to the notes, that vehicle is not here anymore. According to Tyrell's father's side of the family, Brister stopped responding to them around 6.15 Wednesday night. We called the police. Uh, her mother made contact with the police. She said they looking for the car. Everything going to be okay. So we just assume we're going to see like a little... Uh, an alert or something. But an alert from law enforcement never went out. They should have sent that out ASAP because alert. something is really wrong. Tyrell's maternal grandmother tells us she called the sheriff's office again Thursday morning just after 930 when her daughter and granddaughter remained missing. The timeline from the sheriff's office confirms that, but still no alert. The submerged car found three hours later by a bystander who spotted the hood of the car in Northridge Lake.